What's up guys, I'm Vern. I'm Henry. Welcome to another edition of Pokeboy Production Channel. So today we're here, where are we Henry? Nutley, New Jersey. Nutley, New Jersey. We're going to a place called Kubita Cafe. Opened up last year. And uh, they're known for their empanadas. It's just very different, unique. And it's a fusion of Cuban food slash American. American-ish. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good though, I think. So I've heard about it on Facebook. You know, Facebook always gives me all these ads. Of course, that's where we usually get our content from Facebook. <laughs> so we're gonna go inside and eat some good food. So keep watching. This has press leches, uh, whipped cream. Yeah. What else? The regular, um, you know, the regular Cubano coffee. Cubano coffee. So that's raw as hell. This is the specialty for today. What is it? I forgot the name of it. It has like <laughs> a shot something of about stress. honey. I heard honey. Honey and like a little bit of spice in there. Yeah. And tonic too. Some tonic. So, Henry, do the mixing, please. Yeah. Looks strong. Yeah. Mm. Good. Yeah, that, like you said, he has a, a unique taste. He would taste um, the tonic is like a strong carbonated, carbonated. But you could also taste the espresso, which is you know, a little bitter. And there's like an aftertaste of like the honey after, or like the strongness, the bitterness. Yeah, after you drink it. Nice. So it's pretty good. It's a unique taste to it. It's Vern's turn to try this uh, new drink, special drink. Uh, we gotta ask what's the name of this again. I forgot what it's called, but this is their special for the. I don't know if it's called the week, but today it is. Okay, Vern's taking a sip. Oh, that hit me. <laughs> You're right, it does have that carbonated taste, like a soda kind of thing. Yeah. Right? You taste the bitterness and the and the in the end it has that honey taste, right? Yeah. It's like it's a unique taste. It's different. But I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a little weird at first. Like when I sipped it, I'm like, whoa, what is that taste? So like drinking um coffee soda. <laughs> coffee soda, that's what it is. <laughs> Cheers guys. Alright. Flavored coffee time. You could be the cold brew. Cold brew. Cubano coffee, cold brew. Sweet. It's not as sweet. But um it's like um iced coffee. You know those sweet uh, the ones that you can buy from looking donuts kind yeah. of thing, flavored. Pretty good. Just the it's cream. not as sweet as the one we tasted in like tops. No, not as sweet. Definitely. I'll probably get one. I think you like this one. Has the right amount of uh, sweetness to it. Has a caramel kind of taste. Yeah. This is their specialty, the oxtail oh, empanada. It's hot. It's hot. Simple, man. Oh, look at that. Look at all that meat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Yeah. So juicy. It looks good, though. Yeah. You got a small piece. I got the big piece. Cheers, Tanner. Cheers. Yes. How is it? Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is good. 
Oh, just corn in it. Yeah. Man, it's, it's very flavorful. Definitely, um, I would need to order more of these. <laughs> it's very good. Very juicy, right? Yeah. I recommend this one. This is a specialty for today. I don't know if they're gonna do it anymore, but if they do, get it. Yeah, yeah. Man, that tells you exactly how he feels about that Cubano. Really good stuff. <laughs> really good, really good. What's in it? What's in a Cubano anyway? Uh, cheese. Ham, cheese, pickles, um, chicken, I think. Okay, I think the cheese is, um, it looks like... American? No, I think this might be Swiss? mozzarella Mozzarella. Or Swiss, I'm not sure. Or yeah. provolone. Oh man, look at that, the, the face of excitement. <laughs> so far, uh, I've been liking all the things I've eaten here, right Henry? Yeah, definitely. This is the Cubano. Thumbs up from Henry. Thumbs up, definitely. The Cubano. Look how nice, flat and compact it is. It's like a pizza pie. <laughs> Mm. It's amazing. Good, <laughs> right? It has the right amount of seasoning. I can taste the pepper and the salt. Oh. I can taste the, um, the sourness of that pickle. Yep. Oh, this is really good. I taste a lot of Cubano sour. This is up there with me. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think you remember when we went to that food truck fair? Yeah. You ordered one of these, right? Yeah. But that was okay. This one. Yeah, kind of... I think this is definitely worth it. Worth another. Uh, worth the trip. Look at that big mm. bite. Oh yeah, this is like the everything bagel, right? Everything empanada. Everything empanada. I mean, you got all the the seasonings of an everything bagel on top of the, the empanada. Yeah. We took. We got the um, What's inside? bacon, egg, and cheese. Nice. They have sausage. They have chorizo. They have different um, assorted um, everything empanada. All the breakfast items that yeah. you'd want. Pretty good. Pretty good. So it's like eating something in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. And it will match well with your Cuban coffee. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. good. Mm -hmm. So what do you say this is so good, Hannah? It's good because uh, you put a lot of egg. The, um, the, the scrambled rice is perfectly, uh, the um, you know, consistency of the egg was good. Bacon, you have a pretty decent amount of bacon in there. Nice and crispy. And nice and crispy, not burnt or anything in some places you buy bacon, egg, and cheese. It's a perfect combo. Mm. So it's Frank's turn to try the everything empanada. Yeah, baby. It looks just like the bagel. <laughs> Empanada style. Mmm. Mmm. Good stuff, right? Yeah. Henry, you're right. I can definitely taste the bacon, the egg. And I like it in empanada style. Because the bacon sometimes is a little too hard for my yeah. teeth. And now there's a lot of carbs and like a lot breading. of carbs. You yeah. can hardly taste the, the, the insides. Mm -hmm. With this one, you have the perfect amount of like breading mm -hmm. and a lot of egg and a decent amount of bacon, which is really, really good. Good filling and uh, nice and soft, very chewy. Bacon has a nice crisp crunch to it. Yeah, not even burnt or anything. Mm -hmm. like perfect. Yeah. Definitely perfect for your mornings. Goes well with the Cuban coffee, like I said. <laughs> Tanner, good choice. <laughs> it was actually recommended to him, to us by the guy because I was I wasn't sure what to get. He was like, I recommend the bacon and the cheese. So I was like, ah, I'll go with that one. <laughs> Perfect, great choice. <laughs> Alright, so Heather says I should try this first. Yeah, good. Fern always makes me do it first. <laughs> 
Look at all that powder. That's that like oreo. What is it? Sugar, right? Is that sugar? Yeah, uh, brown sugar, yeah, powder sugar. Flour, powder sugar. Pins mm. burns the chocolate and got it. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Chocolate. Mm. <laughs> mm, this one is really sweet. I expected that. Because he has like, the um, powdered sugar and stuff. It's like a Zipoli kind of thing. Mm. Cubano style, huh? Mm -hmm. And whoever's seen an empanada with an Oreo on it? <laughs> right? It's good though. I like this one. Like, I could see my kid, my nephew and niece eating a bunch of these. Yeah. It's that good. Yeah. Maria likes it because it's chocolate too. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this will um, satisfy my sweet tooth. It's really good. Mm. So he gave us a free empanada. Thank you, sir. <laughs> what is this, Sen? They call it the savory in the menu. It has, so it has beef, chicken, chicken. Um, cheese, I think. Okay. And it's too hot, so Henry can't yeah. really hold it. <laughs> it's still hot though, but it's gonna ooze up. Sorry. It is hot. Oh, there it is. Look at that. It's a regular, uh, like a beef empanada. It's a regular beef empanada? Yeah. Okay. It's good. Mm -hmm. Get your beef. Cook it up. Yeah. My hands are clean, don't worry. I trust you, Hannah. <laughs> so I guess this is like a regular empanada, right? Beef empanada. Is, yeah. It's like a regular beef empanada, mm -hmm. but the flavor is really good too. Nice. Because their marination of the beef, mm -hmm. a really nice savory taste of the beef, and their flavoring is perfect. That's all you need to say. It's not zooming. It's not focus. Got it? Okay. Feel like this in your in the back of your hand. There. There. <laughs> the classic empanada. You know, we've had all kinds of empanadas, so it's good to have some, you know, regular. <laughs> of course. Yeah, so let's try it. I like the, you know, it's got the, even the little knots on the side. Okay. Mmm. I like kind of. I like the marination of the beef. Yeah. Good amount of beef in there. Mm -hmm. Very meaty. Yeah, which is good. Yeah. You know, sometimes you buy empanada, all you get is air, big, uh, big empanada, and then not much beef inside. This one is just a real good amount of beef in there. It's a, it's a fat empanada. <laughs> with, real, with full of beef, not full air. Full of beef. Look at that. You know what, Henner? Everything that we've tasted here is top notch. Yeah, it is. I really like everything that we had today. Like Hannah was saying, if he lived close by, he would probably be buying a bacon, egg, and cheese. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be so dangerous for me. <laughs> You're gonna gain a lot of pounds from eating all these empanadas. Yeah. Worth it though, man. It's worth definitely it, yeah. worth it. I would really, really love to recommend this place if you're in the mood for empanadas, if you want to taste different empanadas, and the Cuban sandwich. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, I like that beef empanada because, like I said, it's full of beef, not air. Because I've, you know, we've eaten a lot of empanadas out there where, like, fit, like 80% of it's air and empty, but just like a 10% beef in it. But this one is like 90% beef. Yep. Yep. Definitely, definitely good. That's how it should be, man. That's worth your money. And it's cheap too. Yeah, what is it? Four bucks? Four bucks? I think two bucks. Two, two for four, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I think like two dollars each. Yep. Like Which is a good price too. Mm -hmm. It's gonna fill you up. <laughs> yeah. So Henner, what'd you think? Two thumbs up for me! Yeah, two thumbs up for me. I even got the drink here. This drink is really good. This is their cold brew Cuban coffee. It's like you could buy something from Dunkin' Donuts, like I said. Very refreshing. Henner, how was your drink? It was good. Uh, they don't have an official name yet, but it was a unique taste. I yeah. liked it. Like, it gave me a little aftertaste, right? A kick to your throat. Yeah, you like a, there's like a, a tiny spice uh, aftertaste to it. After you drink like the espresso and all the honey and stuff, there's like a, a very small spice. So yeah, you, you recommend that drink? Um, 
for the un for the adventurous ones, sure. Yeah, because it's, it's a very it has a, that unique taste to it. Yeah. Not everybody's gonna like it, definitely. Just think of alcoholic Coke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's no alcohol, there's no in, alcohol there. in it, but just that has that kick to it. It's like a more like a uh, co what's it? Um, carbonated coffee. Yeah. Yes. That's what it is. And then uh, we tried a whole bunch of empanadas. I think there were a couple more there that we didn't try, but I think for the most part, we mm -hmm. tried everything. Like the Oreo tasted just like something you'd buy at a carnival. It's that sweet. Hannah didn't eat it, yeah. so I had to eat two of them. <laughs> no, everything bagel. That was really good, right? That was really good, yes. Uh, bacon, egg, and cheese, uh, everything empanada. Rough the trip. Um, we also tried the oxtail, their specialty. Loved it. So yep. much meat in there. Mm -hmm. And then we even had the classic empanada. And of course, don't forget about the Cuban sandwich. And the Cuban sandwich. Oh, wow. wow. That was delicioso. Yeah, this is, this is my dinner. It's like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. So, yeah, we're full. Uh, where is this center? Notley, New Jersey. Come on down. Very highly recommended by me. And Vern. And then uh, make sure you guys, if you ever visit, tell them the Poggy Boy Production Crew sent you. He probably doesn't know who they are. No. Who we are, but he'll probably be like, oh, those, those tweets. You saw it on YouTube, yes. <laughs> yeah, say you saw it on YouTube and tell them to watch our video so they'll probably watch it. Yeah. So, anyway, last words, Heather? Yes, please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Ding, ding, ding. See you guys. Bye.